Hello everyone. Today I have my empties and half empties from the last week to share with you. Um, I'm going to try to get through this pretty quickly. I'm not going to smell through everything. I'm not feeling super well today. Um, just like really nauseated. So I'm just going to, you know, tell you what I remember while these were melting. Um, I'll start with my half empties. The first thing I have is from K. This is Aloha Beaches. This is Salty Sea Air Beach and Clothes Pins. Um, I really enjoyed this. I did I did one cube in my tea light warmer. It's just a perfect beachy scent. It smells like you're on the beach with freshly washed, like a freshly washed bathing suit on. Um, really like that one. That's one that I'll probably repurchase. This one is Sunset Shores. I think this was Danny's um, blend. This is Blood Orange, Kai, and Boom Boom. Again, love this one. It's just so good. <laughs> um, I I don't know. It's just beautifully blue. Oh my goodness, this is not gonna be good. <laughs> this is beautifully blended. Um, I love Boom Boom. I don't know exactly what that Kai oil smells like, but this was just a really nice, like deep, sensual kind of perfumey scent with blood orange. Really enjoyed it. Also uncovered in poison ivy, so hopefully you don't see it in the video, but if you do, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> Um, I melted some of the Overlook. This is a custom that I did. It's Winter Linen, Jack Frost, and Palo Santo. I loved this. It was like 10 out of 10 on strength, and I just love the scent. You get a lot of the Jack Frost, but you get that Winter Linen and just a little bit of Palo Santo in there. It's really nice. On to L3. I melted some oceanfront sweet i think this was my favorite from the customer creations that i picked up and i loved it on warm also um it's just really fresh it's like you know it's pretty much what the name implies it's like a fresh like right on the beach in a hotel room kind of scent really like that that's one i would probably repurchase I melted some Riverbank Aquaman pine trees. This is Roaring, well, Riverbank is Roaring River. Goodness gracious, Cash, why don't you lay down, bud? Um, what was I saying? Riverbank, is Riverbank, Roaring River, Fresh Pine Trees, and then Aquaman is Ocean Waves and Sea Breezes, ouch. Um, I'm not sure. Anyway, this is a really nice scent, but it's super light, and I don't know why. Um, I've had Aquaman on its own before, and it was super light for me. I know other people get really good performance, but I think it's just the Aquaman. It just is super light. Um, yeah, like I could smell it, but I don't know. I just want to finish up the scoop. It wouldn't be a repurchase. Oops. Um... I melted some I need a effing vacation. This is Boom Boom Bobby Beach type in mango coconut cooler. Um, I like this. This was light also. I did it in my back room. I might need to try it in a different room. Um, but yeah, I liked it. I, I like the beach type and I liked it with um, boom boom and the mango coconut cooler but I need to try it in a different room because it was just super light back there I melted some moody with a booty I did a little bit in my tea light warmer and then it was just one fluted tart that I split between my tea light warmer and my ball warmers in the kitchen and I actually really liked this it was just a really nice peach um, I think there's Boom Boom in this also. What is it? The notes are on here. I pulled this out of the Round Robin box. This is Boom Boom, Georgia Peach, and Vanilla Ice Cream. And yeah, I really liked it. Um, 
it was like a medium performer i know a lot of people get light throw from this it did pretty well and i would probably purchase more of this i i did really like that um i'm i've really been lugging out with the peach lately so i don't know if my nose is just changing to peach um or if like i said i've just been lucking out because i used to not even or, like purchase peach scents because i just didn't like them but lately i've been having good luck so anyway um the bathing garden i melted fizzing lavender soda sorry guys i i don't know i probably should have waited to do this um this smelled really good this does smell different to me from most of the lavender soda scents there's more to this i feel like i got like a current note but the notes are effervescent nectar french lavender petals plum blossom and citrus so i think that effervescent nectar gave me like um like a dark current kind of note so i like this i don't love it i'll finish up this clam but i don't think i'm gonna order any more of it we'll see though um yesterday for easter i melted some carrot cake i really like her carrot cake it's not like overly spiced it's um it's really nice i like it it's more of an authentic carrot cake scent to me Okay, I had to pause for a little bit. Um, got a snack, got a drink. <sighs> Laid down for like 20 minutes, and now I feel like I can finish this. I don't know what's going on, but anyway. Um, the last thing was carrot cake. So I also melted some marshmallow peep cookies um, on Easter. I did one cube in the tea light warmer in the morning. In the afternoon, once that tea light had died out, I switched it to the carrot cake. And then once that one had died out, I switched back to marshmallow peep cookies. So two different um, cubes from this clam at two different times during the day. But I really love this. Um, I've mentioned a million times, I love the bathing garden, um, like marshmallow scents, vanilla scents, they're just i think they're my favorite um and I, this is another one that i pulled out of the round robin box so whoever put this in there i so appreciate it because this is right up my alley with the bathing garden scents um and my son has been asking for peeps blend so next time i melt this i'll probably throw it in his room um i don't expect it to do well in there though i should really just switch out their warmers in there because they're just not the best for actually like throwing the wax they're marble warmers so they're fun to look at they're fun for their room but they're just not like the best performing warmers um they have the captain america and the iron man i think captain america's 20 watt bulb and then the iron man might even be a 15 watt bulb so i think i have the spider-man one and i'm not sure if that's 20 or 25 but i think i'm gonna pull that one out and try it see if that one does any better in the room anyway you don't care <laughs> um the next thing i melted i have here from yummers delight um i just did a haul from this vendor i'm super excited about it because i think i'm gonna love this vendor um, I melted some of this tie-dye towels in my tea light warmer and then I also threw some in my bulb warmers in the kitchen. So this is Volcano Summer Rainstorm and Salty Sierra. It did really well. It was just really fresh and summery smelling. I loved it. Um, I look forward to melting the rest of this and also melting more of what I picked up from Yummer's Delight. I think there might be one more scent in here yeah so i'll talk about that then but um i have a couple from destination wax the first one is sunny sand beach this is the sun and sand dupe from yankee candle um it also reminds me of sea sun and fun from scentsy which i loved 
Um, this was light, but again, I did it in my boys' room. And it's just not the best judge. Like those warmers, you know, I can't judge a scent based on those. So next time I will try this somewhere else and see how it does. Um, I usually get good performance from Destination Wax, so I'm assuming that I will um, once I try it somewhere else. I also melted some elderflower. I believe this is one of Susan Fitzpatrick's favorite scents from Destination Wax, or I think she just likes it from any vendor, but I think I picked it up because I've seen her talk about it before or heard her talk about it. Um, but I melted some of this on Easter in the entryway. It was really nice. This to me is like a clean floral. Um, oh, the notes are a clean, sweet, fresh wildflower. Sorry, I also didn't give you the notes on Sunny Sand Beach. Um, let me tell you quick. <laughs> the notes on Sunny Sand Beach are beach breezes wafting over orange blossoms, lavender, citrus, and suntan lotion, which, you know, that's just right up my alley. Um, apparently, everything's right up my alley today. Anyway, um, this elderflower, a clean, sweet, fresh wildflower. This is so nice. It It's just a clean floral to me. Like it smells like it could be a shampoo, which I love. I love like a shampoo-y floral wax. Um, so yeah, and it performed pretty well in my entryway. I did two cubes in each of the two warmers there and you could smell it every time you walked up or down the steps. Um, you could smell it on the landing upstairs. It was really nice. I think I would repurchase this. Obviously, I need to finish this up, but I could see this being a repurchase. Um, so I melted some. This was also from the Round Robin box. Um, this is vanilla ice cream from Rose Girls. So when I melted Moody with a Booty from L3, I put some of this in there also in the ball warmers um, just to kind of give it a little bit more but I didn't really get too much from this so next time I'm either gonna stick these three cubes in my bedroom and my Scentsia cord or I'll try a cube in the tea light warmer and see if I can get a stronger throw because I do really like it on cold um one second okay sorry I had to pause for a second um, now I have several things from Teddy Bees because I got my pre-order and everything smelled so good. I had to try a bunch of them to see if I needed to try to pick them up in the RTS. I did end up grabbing just two of the scents that I ordered from the pre-order and then I grabbed like a few new to me scents. Um, Anyway, I'll talk about that when I get that order. <laughs> but the first thing I melted was Fiji. Well, I don't know if it was the first thing I melted, but one thing I melted from Teddy Bees this last week was Fiji. And this is sea salt, driftwood, green clover, and aloe, and warm vanilla sugar. This, it smells really good. I will say that I didn't pick up any more of this in the RTS, but it does smell really good. It reminds me of sea salt mist from Scentsy. Um, I think it was a scent that came out in like 2015 or 2016 and then it's it's been back in Bring Back My Bar at least once, maybe more than once, but I loved that scent. I was like obsessed with it. I stocked up and then that was one Scentsy scent that went bad for me. Um, most of the time I can store my Scentsy for years and it's still fine. It performs well. But I do find issues with blue wax and green wax from Scentsy going bad. Um, so that was one of them. So it's one that I don't stock up on when it comes back. But if it comes back again, I think I would stick it in my club. Um, but this, to me, this smells just like that as far as I can remember. It's really nice. I only did, did I do one piece? 
I I used to cut my souffles smaller from Teddy Bees, but now I cut them um, into eight pieces. I used to cut them into eight pieces and then cut those in half, but I'm finding that this works better for me. Um, so I think I just did one or maybe two pieces in my Sensia cord in my bedroom and it was light, um, but you could definitely smell it. I think it's just like, honestly, I think it's just how the scent is going to be with these scent notes. Um, when was this poured? It was poured in February, so it's good and cured. Um, maybe if I had done a piece in each of my dishes in the Accord warmer, it would have been better, but this does smell really good. I look forward to melting through the rest of this. I'm just unsure if it's going to be a repurchase, um, but we'll see. Who knows? I can end up falling in love with it, but it does really remind me of sea salt mist. Yeah, like to me, it's like exact to that scent, but I could be remembering it wrong. I don't know. I'm going to move this stuff back. Um, sorry. Like I said, I have poison on my hands and it's gross. Um, okay. The next thing from Teddy Bee's Fresh Summer Woods, I did go in for more of this. Um, the notes are cottonwood, driftwood, orange blossom, vanilla, and crisp, airy undertones. Um, this smells like a box of bounce dryer sheets, like the outdoor fresh bounce dryer sheets. And I'm here for it. <laughs> um, I've told you guys before, laundry products are what made me fall in love with home fragrance. Um, and bounce dryer sheets were like my obsession for so long, like middle school. I always had bounce dryer sheets in my pockets. <laughs> and this, this smells like, oh my gosh, I love this. I know, I think I'm like there, I think I'm, with other people that I've seen talk about this scent um, when they received it from their pre-order. And the name implies that there's like a woodsiness to this and I really don't get that. I really just get dryer sheet. But, so I was kind of like, I wouldn't say disappointed. It just wasn't what I was expecting. But after melting it, I'm like, I don't care. I love it. <laughs> I put this in my bedroom. I did put a piece in each dish in my bedroom. So three pieces, that was way too much. Um, I mean, I loved it, but oh my gosh. I walked into my bedroom and it was like, I walked into a freaking box of bounce dryer sheets and I don't use those anymore. Um, I try not to use dryer sheets at all anymore. So I'm missing out on that scent, but this, oh my gosh, it was just like, I, I'm telling you, it was like sitting in a box of bounce dryer sheets and that is like my dream come true. So I had to go back in for more of this and now I know that I only need one cube when I melt it in my bedroom. Um, I don't know if I would melt this anywhere else. I like, to me, it's, it's very much a bedroom scent, but I'm obsessed. And if you are also obsessed with dryer sheet scents, <laughs> you need to try this. Um, I will say I get like a tinge of like a fabric softener in here, but that could just be my mind like making things up, but it almost smells like you have a box of bounce dryer sheets freshly opened like sitting beside an open bottle of like downy april fresh fabric softener um which is just what my dreams are made of so fresh summer woods for me is a hit it is like so strong 10 plus out of 10 crazy okay but if you don't like dryer sheet scents don't even try it because that's what it smells like um, the next one I have is Soothe. I cannot read the notes on here anymore. Um, this is Sweet Lavender, Cotton and Cashmere, Green Clover, Clean Green Clover and Aloe. 
Um, I really like this. I didn't end up picking up any more of this, but I will in the future. I just feel like this will last me for a little while because I'm only gonna melt this in my bedroom. Yeah. It's so nice, like fresh, but relaxing. And I, I don't know. I, I swear I get like a cocoa butter or um, not a cocoa butter. I think I'm getting like a shea butter kind of note. Um, I don't know where I'm getting that from, but I, I really pick it up. This was really nice in my bedroom. I did one, one piece just to see how it was going to do. Um, and it was a little light. So I think next time I would do two pieces and it would probably be perfect for the bedroom. Um, but you could definitely like when I sat on my bed or laid down on my bed, I could definitely smell it. So really like this and I'm so excited to melt through the rest of that. Um, this one rainy day, this is crisp apples, dewy air, fallen leaves, oak, a touch of lavender and a hint of sandalwood. I like this. Um, I don't think I love it. Yeah, it's really nice. Something in here gives me those like summertime camping kind of vibes. Um, I don't know. I also feel like I've smelled this somewhere before. Like maybe it's a, like a single oil or something. I don't know. I just, it smells very familiar to me. Like I've had it in wax before and it says dewy air, but I feel like I'm getting like a strong kind of ozone note in here. I do really like it. It almost smells like a, it almost smells like a cleaning product, which I love, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know if this one will be a repurchase. We'll see. Like I said, I've only melted them once and my opinion could always change, but as of now, I don't think it's one that I need to like grab a bunch of, but I'll enjoy melting through that. Um, this one milk of the poppy. This is really nice. I didn't pick up any of this, but I probably will in the future. Um, this is a really nice Palo Santo creamy vanilla kind of blend. The notes are Palo Santo and the richest creamy vanilla. Um, and I think this was the only one on cold, like in my initial haul that I was like, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about the vanilla. I really liked it on warm. Yeah. See when I first smell this, the vanilla is a, a bit like off putting to me. But even just in that like two seconds of the bag airing out a little bit, it's completely like mellowed and it is just a really nice creamy vanilla. But this cut does kind of give me like today is October 3rd vibes from L3. Um, so I feel like if I'm like craving this, I could always pick up some of that because I feel like L3 offers that all the time but this was super strong. I did one piece in each of my three warmers in the back room and it was super strong, really nice, lasted all day. I will enjoy melting through this and I would probably pick it up again. It's just nothing that I was like, I need more of that right away. Um, what's this one? Oh, this one is laundry day. Juniper, clean cotton, sweet lavender, and vanilla. So I think this is from her OG collection. This is really nice. This is one that I considered getting more of in the RTS because it's just a really pleasant laundry scent. Um, and I really like that juniper in there. I melted this in the bathroom. It performed well in there. It was really pretty. It's like a it's more of like a light airy kind of laundry scent. Yeah, I really like it. I just didn't feel like I had to have more of it right away. Again, like I said, um, yeah, but it's one that I will melt and enjoy and then probably grab like another souffle of it at some point or who knows, I could melt it, finish this and then be like, man, I wish I had a loaf. 
we'll see but it is a really nice laundry scent i just kind of you know i i pretty much love all laundry scents so unless it like really stands out to me i just don't feel like i i need to have a ton of it because i could pick up any laundry scent and be happy with it um but yeah it's really nice but like i said that fresh summer woods just is like the most like comforting scent to me so that is that is a laundry scent that i needed more of um i melted some of the perfect storm sorry for all the glares guys it's really overcast today so i have a bunch of lights on i don't know um the perfect storm is sea spray ocean water citrus damp leaves dark amber and oak moss the garbage trucks out there i almost ordered more of this but this was so familiar to me um like i know i've had this before from another vendor i think the the scent oil or the fragrance oil the oil i think is called is it ocean waters or ocean something um i think other vendors have it i think i've had it before and while it is really nice i just didn't feel like i needed to put money towards more of this right now since i i know other vendors have this but it is really nice it's like fresh but it has like this darkness to it i think from the damp leaves and the, the dark amber um it's so nice though it does lean a little like cologne it like i don't want to say it smells like cologne but it kind of did to me um like if this were a cologne it would be a really really nice cologne but I did get a, like a masculine feel while this was melting in my bedroom. I did one cube, it performs, one cube, one piece of the souffle. It performs super well. I really liked it. I just, I know it's available elsewhere, so I didn't pick up any more of it. All right, this one, I'm telling you right now, this is why I went back in when the RTS opened. I didn't get a ton of it, I, I just needed a little bit more um for this summer this one is gran canaria i think it's canaria because i think it's the canary islands i could be wrong but i'm gonna say gran canaria this guys <laughs> i'm obsessed with this scent this is a new favorite of mine from teddy b's it is beach treats which is her beach nights um and then it's peach nectar, jasmine, violets, notes of fresh citrus and soft wood. So I don't know if all those notes are like one oil. I don't know, but the scent is amazing. One piece in my bedroom, it was like a 15 out of 10 and through for like two days straight, like 40, 48 hours straight. <laughs> amazing. I love her beach nights. Um, oh my gosh this is beautiful um who was i watching was it to sean maybe somebody i was watching talked about the scent in their hall and they were like i need like perfume of this i promise you if teddy bees ever does perfumes body sprays body care anything i would buy it all in this scent it is amazing oh my gosh it's the most beautiful like summery beach night scent i'm just obsessed this is my new favorite beach nights from teddy bees it's a new favorite this might be my favorite scent from teddy bees it's so good i can't even explain it it has this beautiful perfume like perfumey vibe with the beach nights and a lot of the time with beach nights that is like the main thing i get it's it like takes over everything in here they're beautifully blended it's perfect 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 if you like beach nights and you like perfumey <laughs> blends and i hate to say that because it's not like 
a nauseating perfume. It's not cloying at all. It is just beautiful. That is all I can say about this scent. You have to try it. If you've ever taken my word for it, like take it now because that is amazing. That was my doorbell. Oh, it's Archer's friend. Okay, anyway, Grand Canaria. That's gonna be like a must in my collection for summer. It's beautiful. Okay, then I just have some Scentsy in the half empties. <clears throat> and the first one is Shoreline Drive. I love this. I will be getting more of this. Oh, oh my gosh. It's fresh and it's soapy. To me, it is soapy, especially when it was melting. I melted this in the bathrooms and it was perfect. So strong. I loved it. I did two cubes in my bathroom, one cube in the kids bathroom. And it was just amazing. Yeah, I love this. As soon as you started coming up the steps upstairs, this was all you could smell. It was strong, really nice. If you like kind of clean, fresh, soapy scents, Shoreline Drive is a really good one. Will be any more of that. Um, this one, Vitamin S Soothe. So I melted this at the same time in my kid's room. And this is really nice, but I didn't get a good feel for it. So I need to melt this somewhere else. I might actually melt this in my bedroom in the Sunset Accord. Because I really like this on cold, but I just didn't get much of it. And it could have been because this was so strong that it was just overpowering. Or like I said, my kids warmers aren't the best, like the best performers. Um, this has an aquatic note. I think there's a saltiness in here. Yeah, it's just really like nice and relaxing. I want to try this because I think I did throw this in my club and I need to see if it needs to stay in there because I really love this on cold. I just, I need it to perform <laughs> so I can see how it is. Um, but yeah, on cold, it smells amazing. The next one, coconuts for coconuts. I melted this in the bathrooms and I really like it. This is the kind of coconut that I like. Mmm, it's so good. It's kind of sunscreeny. It's very summery. Yeah, I love it. It reminded me of a specific like tanning oil, and I can't think of which one it is now. Is it Hawaiian Tropic? Maybe, it might be banana boat though. I don't know. It reminded me of a specific tanning oil while it was going and it was really nice. I did two cubes in my bathroom. One cube in the kids' bathroom performed well. I will repurchase that one also. This is a favorite of mine from Sunsea, Vanilla Waves. Melted this in the back room on Easter and it's just so good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This is like vanilla, caramel, and sea salt or something. But to me, it's like a fresh, almost, I don't know. It's like a fresh, almost kind of body care vanilla with sea salt. I really don't get caramel, really. Like, it's sweet, but it's still not like foody to me. I don't know. I just love it and it's an amazing performer it's still going I didn't switch it out yet um, so it's been going for about 24 hours at this point and it's still strong it smells amazing I love the scent if you're a vanilla fan try vanilla waves um, I melted some plumeria peach I did this in the back room also the other day um, this was really nice this, yeah, it was really pretty. I know I've mentioned before that I get kind of 
tired of the fruity florals from Scentsy, but this was really pretty. I don't think I need to repurchase it, but I'll enjoy melting this clam. Um, it was strong. Again, it was just a really pretty fruity floral and I liked it. I think I might have like one more bar of that also. So yeah, I won't mind finishing those up, but it won't be one that I need to repurchase, I don't think. Um, and that's it for half empty. So let me get into the empties. I have a couple from Scentsy. This one is peach nectar. This is my favorite peach ever. Um, I forget exactly what the notes are, but I get peach and I get the, I know there's blue freesia in here, but I think there's something else. And I can't remember what, but I get peach and I get blue freesia. This is a perfumey peach to me. I've seen a few people say this just smells like straight up peach to them, like a fresh peach. That's not what I get. I get a perfumey peach. Like I would love to have a perfume in this. It's so pretty. Um, I actually used this whole clam through my dining room, living room and entryway. And it was like incredibly strong. Um, I love this scent. I have a bunch more of this and this will always be a repurchase for me. I have a room spray of it that I do spray on my clothing because I want a perfume so badly. Um, this one, Bora Bora Blossom. This is another example of a fruity floral that I like. Yeah, this is nice. I put this through all the bedrooms and the bathrooms yesterday on Easter and it was really pretty. It was super strong up there. Um, yeah, I really liked it. I I have this in my club. I'm kind of torn as to whether I want to keep it in or take it out because it is really pretty and it's a good performer, but is it a love? I don't know. I need to decide. Um, okay, on to I have one from Hayden Rowe in Duchess. I think this is lavender. Is it Tassie lavender and white clouds? I forget. Um, but it's a really nice lavender. I don't even remember where I melted it this time. But I, oh, in the back room. I do really like the scent. I, that's, I remember now. It was kind of light this time in the back room. I'm not, I don't think I've had this for super long. Maybe like last year. Um, but usually this is a really good performer, so I don't know. I think that day was just kind of a fluke back there. Um, but I would probably repurchase this uh, again because it is a good lavender. Um, I have I have one from K in Jilly. This is a custom that I did. It's Beach, Sunset, Heat, and Wildflower Honey. This is one of my favorites. I need to get more because I finished this bag, obviously. Um, yeah, favorite of mine, super good performer. It lasts for days if you leave it in your warmers. It's amazing. It's just, I don't know. It's so summery, but it's like, I don't know how to explain it. I, I think I've talked about it before where it smells like a beachy woman, like this woman that lives at the beach and she has like a beautiful summery perfume on. And then, I don't know, <laughs> it just smells so good. It's like, you get that like, kind of suntan lotion feel from the beach. And then the sunset heat has this perfumey like, like a warm tropical perfumey kind of note and then the wildflower honey i think the wildflower honey might be a perfume too i'm not sure i think it's another dupe but you definitely get this like sweet wildflower honey feel in here i don't know this is so good it's one of my favorites i'm i need to get another um cuts bag of it because i need a bag for summer um i have two here no three here from the bathing garden. I have tea party with Alice. I forget what the notes are on this, but I feel like I got honey from it. Um, it wasn't my favorite. It wouldn't be a repurchase, but it performed well. This was like a little, um, 
like a playing card shape. I think this is available right now in the Alice in Wonderland collection. But yeah, this wouldn't be a repurchase for me. Like I said, it performed well. It smelled good. It's just, I don't know, the honey note in here, at least what I was picking up as a honey note, just wasn't my favorite. So yeah, that wouldn't be a repurchase. Springtide Mint, I melted this to decide if I needed more of it um, because it is available, it might still be available in the spring collection. Um, but yeah, I put it in the tea light warmer. It wasn't super strong. It didn't like wow me, so I didn't pick up any more of it, but it was nice. And then whipped cream, this is also available, or it was at least. Um, this was pretty nice. This was light, but it traveled, if that makes sense. So in I had it in the kitchen. I could smell it in the living room, but very lightly. Um, so it was nice. I, I didn't pick up any more of it. I don't think I would. Um, but like if I got a sample of it again, I would enjoy melting it. Um, I have a few here from L3. The first one is strawberry pound cake. Did this in my tea light warmer. It was really, really nice. I don't have, I don't think I have any strawberry pound cake scents. Um, I just never order them and I don't know why because I do like them. I think I just feel like I'm not gonna reach for them often, but I don't know. This was really good. I would probably pick up some of this from L3 again. Um, it's definitely like an artificial sugary sweet strawberry kind of scent but i enjoyed it okay i also melted um a trig tart in the boom boom cream type i i love boom boom cream i try not to overdo it because i do feel like it's one that i could get tired of easily but it was really nice what did i melt this with i don't remember i had something in the tea light warmer and I thought this would be really nice with it but now I can't remember what it was hmm. oh it was I think it was the one of the ones from K that I melted was it Danny's blend from K I think that's what it was I had that in the tea light warmer and then I put this in the bulb warmers and it was very enjoyable um Trig tarts don't always perform super well for me, but this one did okay. I could smell it pretty well, so maybe it was just the age of it. I don't know. This one is Easter Cookie Therapy. Camera stopped. Easter Cookie Therapy. I grabbed this from the Round Robin box. Um, this was really nice. I did not expect to love this as much as I did. I kept this from the Round Robin because it has peeps in it. So it's Peeps, Cookie Therapy, Rice crispy Treats, and a hint of sugared lilacs. So I kept it because it has Peeps, and like I said, my son's been asking for peep scents, and I was like, oh, this is perfect. I can melt it on Easter. So I put this through the living room and dining room yesterday on Easter, and it was so strong, and I loved it. Like, absolutely loved it. I would order more of this. I feel like this is one that will now be like an Easter scent for me. Like, I'll want to melt it on Easter day. I didn't really have, um, like for Christmas, I have specific scents. Um, that might be it. But anyway, <laughs> this will now be my Easter day scent. It was so nice. I definitely got the lilacs the strongest but it blended so nicely with those foodie notes in there i am a fan of bakery and floral together like i love it um like pink petal tea cake i love i just i really like that so love this one performs super well will repurchase um and then i have i finished a scoopable holy cannoli um the birds from l3 salty sea air fresh fallen leaves and juicy pomegranate this is really nice it's super strong i get a lot of salty sea air but you get those other notes too um it does have kind of season of the witch vibes from l3 but pomegranate instead of apple and then add salty sea air 
So completely different, but same vibes. <laughs> I don't know, it just does like remind me of that a good bit. Yeah, it's really nice though. Um, I don't know, like I would probably repurchase it in months or something because it took me forever to get through this scoopable. Um, but it is a really good performer in the scoopable and maybe it's not in other things. I don't know. Really nice though. Like 10 out of 10 strength and throw. Um, but yeah. That's the best way I can describe it. If you've tried Season of the Witch, which is apples and leaves, um, think about that. Take away the apple, add pomegranate and salty sierra. <laughs> okay, just a few more things. Um, oh, here's the one from Yummer's Delight. This is Moon Over Manhattan. This was a Palo Santo and like toasted or roasted marshmallow. This is really nice. I cut this into thirds, put one piece in my tea light warmer in the kitchen, and then the others in the balm warmers. It's so nice. This is a really good Palo Santo. It reminds me of um, the same Palo Santo that Kirby from VCS uses. So if you like that one, I feel like you would love this one. Um, it performed well. I really enjoyed it. I would probably purchase this again. Well, this was sent with my order. I didn't purchase this one. I don't think. Yeah, I think this one was an extra. Um, but I would probably grab this again because it performed well and I really like the Palo Santo in there. Um, the rest is from Teddy Bee. So I was trying to finish up some things just to make some room in my Teddy Bee's bin um, because I don't want to add storage like I really don't so I wanted to finish up some things and the first thing here is strawberry vanilla birch this is strawberry pound cake and vanilla birch um, I like this it's not one that I'll repurchase because the vanilla birch can just get in my throat sometimes and I hope you guys know but what I mean by that but like I love this scent but it just doesn't vibe with my body um, so yeah um, it performed well. It smelled great. I just wouldn't repurchase. Um, Christmas party. This is sweater weather, Bath and Body Works type, cranberries, orange, tangerine with a hint of spice. So on warm, I feel like I get more of the like fruity and spice notes than the sweater weather. This was actually kind of perfect for right now because I think I melted this on like a more gloomy day um, and it was just those like orange citrusy kind of notes with a little bit of cranberry and then some spices so it wasn't like super fall or winter to me. I feel like this could be a year-round scent honestly. Um, I would maybe grab a souffle of this again. When I initially ordered it, I thought it would be like a love, like I would want loaves of it, but it's okay. It performs well. I'd probably get like a souffle of it. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, this one is Mosaic. This is sweet raspberry, sugar cookies, and rich peach cobbler. I melted this in the back room and it was nice. Um, I liked the peach. I don't know if I would need to grab it again, but it's a nice fruity blend and it performed well. London Fog. This is Earl Grey tea, lavender milk, and a hint of boardwalk marshmallow. Um, I do like this. I didn't pick up any. This was available in the RTS, I believe. I didn't grab any more. Even though I do really like the scent, I don't know. I just didn't feel like I needed any more right at this moment, but I would maybe grab it again in the future. Um, you definitely get the Earl Grey tea, the lavender, and the Boardwalk Marshmallow. You get everything in here. It was kind of light when I melted it this time, but I remember it being stronger before. before. Um, and it's not even a year old yet, so I don't know if it was just the warmers were different or what, but. It wasn't super strong this time. 
I do like the scent though. Um, and the last one I have is Earth from Teddy Bees. I just wanted to finish this up. It's not a favorite. It's the smell of fresh cut grass, raindrops, moist dirt, and dewy citrus. I put this in the bathrooms and I think also in my boys' room um, just to finish it up. But it smells good. It is nice. But that fresh cut grass just hits me in the face immediately because it's not my favorite note. Um, everything else in here, like raindrops, dirt, dewy citrus, I would love that. But with the fresh cut grass, that's all I can smell. And it's just not for me. So this performed well, but it would not be a repurchase. And that is everything I got through this week. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a good bit. I moved some stuff out and I've really been enjoying melting just kind of like mood melting and I've really been enjoying everything so it was a good week um my rose girls order just got here and I'm debating if I can do it today I might just wait until tomorrow just because I want to like give you my honest opinions on you know like first impressions because everything I ordered from the rose girls RTS are new to me since and a lot of them are ones I've been wanting to try forever um, So I don't know if I want to do it while I'm feeling kind of crappy because then You know It's just gonna like set a bad tone <laughs> um, Yeah, so I might just hold off until tomorrow. We'll see it's gonna be hard, but I'm like I have a headache starting now. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna wait until tomorrow um, but anyway, let me know what you guys melted and enjoyed this last week. Um, have you tried any of these scents and what do you think of them? Um, I, favorite of the week for sure was Grand Canaria. I am yeah, obsessed, obsessed. It is beautiful. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed this week. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> I can't even like form words. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you're all doing well and I will talk to you all later. Bye.